Hi everyone. When I was in integral psychotherapy training, the subject of post-traumatic stress disorder always been a big part of my interest. I found that it takes a lot of work to heal and depend on the intensity degree of traumas. For some, it became permanent and it really can cripple the person from fully left their life. But it doesn't matter where you are on your journey. It's always begin with one step in front of the other. In this video, I want to invite you to exploring the art of facial reflexology. It's a technique that widely practiced in Vietnam. It mainly targets on the active energy points that represents our nervous system that responds to fight or flight in time of crisis. By doing the triggering, we also connect to our brain parts that are responsible for the areas that we are working on and help your body to reconnect its disrupted pattern and harmonize it and help your body to naturally heal and bring itself back to its natural orders and the way your body designs. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end to get to complete steps to maximize your healing experience. Hi, it's Ben Somji here. To those who are new to my channel or new to reflexology, we need a simple tool. It's a small medium tip, round and smooth so you don't scratch your face because we're going to working on the face energy points. So it's small enough for you to target the area and it's smooth enough so you don't scratch your face. This is one basic tool to have. There is a, a few, quite a few different tools, but I think if you just stick with one simple tool, I would suggest this, and I'm going to attach all the links below for you so you can get access to all to the right tool. And also Tiger Bomb, I found that it's really great to have, is um, in solid forms because it helps to stay on the targeted areas for on each energy point we work on, we're gonna need a little bit of Tiger Bomb just to activate the energy points, and the heat helps to penetrate and help to open up the meridian so the energy can move. Look at the diagram. This one, it's called the main energy gate. So in Eastern medicine, we believe that the main energy gate is like a main highway. When your main channel opens, it helps to direct traffic from all the small meridians and it helps to free the energy and it flows better. If that blocked, also all the small meridian on all the side channels will get stagnant and it get blocked and it's like a river when the water get blocked it becomes toxic and that's when the illness and sickness begin and the energies become disconnect to each other so before we starting our healing work on the smaller channel we often opens up the main channel to have the main channel to be open and we can direct the traffic toward other parts of the body there's a six main energy point in the back and it ends with three in the forehead. So that would complete the cycle of the main gate. So let's put some Tiger Balm on your finger. You only need a little bit. And then you start reaching to your tailbone and you do the circle massage for 20 to 30 counts. And make sure you rub it hard so it help, you can feel it when it's like getting really hot. That means it's, it's active. And then we're moving up. So the next one will be your sacrum, just below your belt in the back. And then you do the same, you massage 20 to 30 counts and breathe through as you're doing it to make sure that your breath is stay with you and don't hold your breath. And then the next energy point, the third one is right behind your heart, directly opposite. And you reach to the back and you can do it. You can ask someone to help you. So you massage it just right between your shoulder blades behind your heart. And you do the 20 to 30 counts of massage. And breathe. Then the fourth one, C6 and 7, just right behind your neck. Be in this area it's right here. So you do 20 to 30 counts. Make sure you have Tiger Balm on it. And then you do your massage. Your fifth zone is would be behind you and the base of your head. It's right between these two bones. There's a dented area. You dab a little bit of the Tiger Balm in these areas. And then you do 20 to 30 counts of massage. Pause the video to finish your counting and your massage, and then you can come back to me. The six zones is on top of your head, not all the way to the center, but slightly back. You you will find this like a slightly dented areas. You put a little bit of 
tiger balm and then you massage it 20 to 30 counts. And as you massage, make sure you keep breathing deeply and gently. So when you're done to 20 to 30 counts, we're moving on to the front area. If you look at the diagram, the number 103, if you divide your forehead by four, the part right in the center here would be your 103. You do three push, one, two, three. So there's the three ways of triggering the energy points. The one that I just did three points, you do medium, medium, heart. So it would be like this, medium, medium, heart. So you give it enough trigger to jump the energy system. So you cannot be too gentle when you do triggering. But if you work with senior or children, then you do gentle massage, just stimulate it slowly. But the third way, is if you hold that energy point, hold it deep and hold it for 30 counts. Just hold it on the spot like this. I would invite you to explore and see which one that will resonate with you. I didn't say comfortable because it's supposed to be painful. So it's not comfortable, but which way, whichever you feel that it's, if you're too sensitive, then, then do the gentle approach. All right. So the number 106, we just finished number one, 103. So this bottom half here, you divide it by half, you get number 103, oh, sorry, 106. You do three push, one, two, three. The last one is number 300. If you horizontally divide this area by four equal parts, you, the top part, the top horizontal part here, that would be where your number 300 stay. In the center of your eye, if you look up, you draw the line straight up, you would meet number 300, same in this side. In the center of your, of your pupil, you draw the line straight up and meeting the horizontal line of the first quarter, you do three push on each side, one, two, three, and then you move to this side, you do one, two, three. So that is complete, the gate opening. So the second step is to stimulate your lymphatic zone. So if you look at the diagram, there's a sixth zone. The first zone is right on the bridge of your nose. So you do the up and down stroke for about 20 to 30 counts. And make sure that you breathe as you're doing it. Don't hold your breath. And, and this gives you opportunity to see if you are holding your breath or not. And if you are, as you're doing this, you keep your breath rhythm going. So when you're done 20 to 30 counts, you can move on to the second zone. So the second zone is located in this area here. So it's like a half moon shape. I always started on the left side first, and then I moved to the next, to the right side after. So you do 20 to 30 counts on one side, and then you move to this side, you do 20 to 30 counts. You can pause the video and come back to me after you've done your 20 counts. Moving on to the third zone, it's where your nose wings, at the edge of your nose wing and outer edge here, you do 20 to 30 counts, and then you're moving to the other side. You can pause the video and come back to me when you're done. Moving on to the fourth zone. The fourth zone is also starting from the top of your nose wings and it's lying right on your laugh line. So this laugh line will end where your corner of your mouth. So you do 20 to 30 counts of stroking on the left first, and then you're moving to this side, like you're scratching it. You can come back to me when you're done your counting. So we can work on the fifth zone, the dented part of your chin is just below your lower lips. So you do 30 counts, 20 to 30 counts. Come back to me when you've done your 20 to 30 counts. To complete the sixth zone, it's around your ear. It's starting from the top here, and from the front. You're going backward, and then it's you circle around and stay right at the crease of your ear, very close. So you keep moving from the side to the back. Stay at the crease of your ear. Don't break the, the pattern. So just going around it for 20 to 30 counts. You finish, then you do the other side to complete. And the third step is to get to actual sequence of the PTSD. It's responsible for our nervous system that responds to fight or flight. So we have to re-regulate it because you're no longer in danger. So now we just have to retrain the system to bring it back to its safety zone. So the first energy point you see is number 22. So the number 22, if you divide your chin, it's starting from the bottom of your lips to the bottom of your chin, 
you divide it by half in a horizontal line and also in the center of your face there's a vertical line in the center it will be the number 22 right here so you do three push one two three or you can hold it for 30 counts and then the next one is number 27 if you see this area the dented area here it's on the same line of the vertical line that lying center of your face here on the same line as your 22 it will be number 127 it's right here so you push one two three it's supposed to be very painful so when you do it yourself don't avoid it because when someone else is doing it for you you just target the area so you don't have time to even feel the pain but when you do it yourself sometimes it's painful and you avoid it i say just don't because when it's blocked it's supposed to be very painful so just as as you keep working on it it will lessen the pain then the number 19 if you see where the nose meet your face right in the center in the still on the same center line here you do three push bring it to about 30 degree right here and you do the push one two three after that we're working on number 50 so the number 50 is on the right side of your face so make sure you identify where you're right and it's only on the right side so it's lying on the horizontal line aligned with the bottom of your nose you're dragging the line out it would meet the vertical line that aligned with the center of your eye pupil you draw the line straight down and then you get number 50 on the right side you do three push one two three moving to number one if you want to find where the number one first of all it's lying on the center of your face right here and it's on your nose finding the horizontal line for the number one if you look at the bottom of your ear here the where the where the bottom of the opening you draw the line straight out across it landed on your nose and it's right in the center of your nose you do three push you can anchor this here with your finger and then you do three push and bring this tool close to your skin so you don't slip so you do three push one two three number 188 the top edge of your ear if you draw the line horizontally across and then the vertical line is from the center of your opening of your nostril you divide it by half you draw the line up you get the number 188 on both sides remember the top part of your ear here you draw the line all the way across that is your horizontal line your nostril opening divided by half you draw the line up you get number 188 on both sides you do three push on one side and then you move into this side and you do three push one two three so that's number 188 moving on to number 106 Number 106, if you divide your forehead by four equal horizontal line, number 106 would be the bottom of the horizontal line, and you divide your forehead vertically by half here, you get the number 106 right here. You do three push, one, two, three. Then number 124 is our next. You divide your forehead by half, this horizontal line here, that's where your number 124 will resign. The outer edge of your iris, you draw the line up, you get number 124 on both sides. You do push on one side and, and then you do the on the opposite side, three push. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we're moving on to number 34. So the number 34 on the horizontal line is laying the same line as the highest arch of your hand line on your eyebrow. So it would be along this line and how we're going to find the vertical line. So before you found the number 188 over here, you draw another straight line up from the, from the inner corner of your eye. And number 188, you draw this two line parallel. The number 34 is right in between the two. So you do three push on one side and then you move to the other side. You do three push, one, two, three. The number 103 is you divide your forehead by half and the other half you get number 103 right in the middle so you do three push one two three complete this sequence would be number zero so number zero is on the bottom opening of your ear here where it meet your face you do three push one two three and then you move to this side you do three push one two three
So pay attention to the points, the energy points that hurt, because you may want to stay there a little bit longer and give it a little bit more massage to it. Do three rounds, so you just finish one round. Go back and do two more rounds and do it at least twice a day until you feel that you are 70% better. Then you do once a day to maintain it or much as you feel that you need it. Remember facial reflexology doesn't interfere with any other treatment. It's really safe as an alternative form of medicine. And it's also a great complement with other healing practice of your choice. It's also a great survival tool when you need it wherever you are. My intention is to help you to tap into your own natural healing abilities and to gain relationship with your body as your healing progress. If you find value in what I just shared, go ahead and give thumbs up. And you can subscribe to my channel if you want to receive weekly healing tips that I'm going to share with you every week. It's my honor to be part of your healing journey. Be confident in your practice, be consistent, and be kind to yourself and do your best. And your best is enough. And I will see you in the next video.